We're Megan and Matt, and we're on a road trip through the Olympic Peninsula. In this video, we're driving along the Washington coast and get into a little bit of trouble. We're still surrounded. Oh yeah, we're also on a million mile journey. We're excited to share with you the rest of what's going on on the Washington coast. We're going to be heading into Forks, which is where they film Twilight, which means absolutely nothing to me. We're going to get going and we will see you on the road. We are long overdue for a car wash. You don't need to like show that part. <laughs> Last time we got a car wash, I wanna say it was right when we got into Alaska and this van has seen much better, much cleaner days. Miss our van remodel. Matt actually made this gray tank from scratch and we haven't cleaned the inside of it since then. And that was in May. Everyone who's like, gray water's not supposed to smell is a liar. It does smell. All right, through a quick outfit change because I got covered in all of the gray water schmoots, which was foul. <laughs> we realized two things. We need to take care of that gray tank more often. I think that's actually why they have the gray water flush systems now that I'm thinking about it at like the dump stations. That makes a lot of sense. Before we head off on our big adventure, we have some errands to run. I grabbed just a big bag of chips because honestly, I saw no. I saw creamy clam dip and was like, hmm, how could that be? And we're either gonna love it or hate it. So I figured if we hate it, I got French onion dip, which we're gonna love regardless. Short day is done. Freaking yeah, babe. Uh, eh. If you date a photographer, waiting is your game. It's so quiet out here too. I don't know if you guys can tell how big these trees are through the camera, but I will just tell you, they are humongous. Wow. It's been a while since we really saw any wildlife and we just saw four elk. There's all female. Two of them are really big, and there were two really small ones. And this place is so quiet, literally all we can hear right now is the trickle of the stream right here, and the elk right there just chomping and chewing and making their way through the forest. It's pretty magical. from the camera how big these are, but just standing here looking at them, I feel like a little ant. We didn't walk too far down the trail and we were immediately stopped. We 
were starting to think that we should just turn back around and head back to the van, and then we turned around and saw this. After deciding with the other hikers that we should turn around and go off the side street, the elk decided to follow us. We didn't know it, but we were backing up right into another elk. All of a sudden, we were surrounded. of them because they just grouped together. Ever since we left Canada and Alaska, we haven't seen much wildlife, so I think Matt's freaking out right now. Oh, my heart. <laughs> okay, there's a loon doing a handstand right now. Like, I'm freaking out. They're doing handstands. I love watching dogs do that. Is that not a loon? Oh, they're mallards. Oh, the green one's a mallard. And the other one's just a duck? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen your reaction. <laughs> wow, look how big these trees are. I'm overstimulated on this hike. I was thinking like very little of this hike. Like I thought it was just gonna be like really beautiful and we could see stuff. And uh, we got trapped between three elk. And then Megan saw her first ducks doing their duck thing. It's really cute. This hike's really cool. This hike is, I mean, a better experience than I even thought we were gonna have. Wow. These trees are massive. Jeez. What a day. <gasps> wow. I didn't even start the trail yet. This is it. We should have brought an extra battery because I freaking flew through this hole and taking the pictures of all the elk. But these trees are like magnificently massive. This is one big dead tree. Magnificently massive trees on Megan and Matt's million mile magnificent journey. Yeah. Mem a memorial. This is a really cool hike. How are you feeling about this whole experience? It's like out of this world. I did not think when I woke up this morning that this would be my life. Look at this huge dead tree. It is massive. I mean, this is 
Oh my gosh, these trees are massive. The amount of moss in this forest is insane. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. We have to like do a dramatic reenactment of what we're actually doing on the trail because we're both like, oh my god! Whoa. Oh. Look how big Whoa. that tree is! And look at that big, big Whoa. tree there! Oh my god, this one's wow. even bigger. Oh, I thought you got small. But look at that one! Wow! Oh my god. Once you get away from all the people, it's so quiet. That's why we've been whispering most of the time. I have to say, I think Olympic National Park has to be one of my favorites because of this hike. I mean, it's like you're jumping into a whole different fairyland atmosphere. It's kind of crazy. I really can't formulate into words how amazing this place is. This is 100% a come see for yourself kind of place. We just reached the Hall of the Mosses for sure. Oh, look at this tree! <gasps> wow. They just get bigger and bigger. We might have to come back in the daylight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> All right, it's pretty much getting too dark to uh, vlog, so we'll catch you back in the van. Here we are. It is complete darkness, and we see a little light. So we just got back to the parking lot, and we were like, okay, clear the elk. To get to our van, we have to pass seven elk. Excuse me. They're just staring us down. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind us at all. We are just giving you guys as much space as we possibly can. That was really exciting. What is my life? Oh, I can't believe this is my life. How about some French onion dip with some chips? I know you're gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> French onion dip is my absolute weakness. Yeah, we wash this thing all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm just not sure. It smells like clam. I'm not sure what to expect. I don't know if I want clam as a dip. Eat it. I'm the one who's hungry. Come on. It kind of tastes like French onion dip. Well. All right, that's a no from Megan. The creamy clam dip tastes like just sour cream. Like there's no flavor at all to it. Um, so for that reason, I'm no longer going to continue to eat it. Good morning, everybody. We are so elated. I'm usually not this hyped up in the morning, but we just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and we are freaking out. Woohoo! Thanks for, all for you for being here. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you everybody who's been with us, especially from day one, because we know those videos were absolutely cringy. But <laughs> I like to think that we've gotten better with our videoing and our storytelling and everything. So I think Megan does an absolute incredible job editing. So I want to give almost all the props to her. I take a little bit of credit, but mostly Megan. She's the, she's the artist. Thank you. <laughs> We were thinking of doing a reaction video to the first video we did together. Oh, oh my gosh, we've have... watched it so many times. I don't think it's even on our channel anymore. It's unlisted. It's unlisted, it's yeah, really because bad. it's awful. Do you guys want to see a reaction to that video? We will also release the video back again if you do. <laughs> I'm not one who usually gets very embarrassed about anything, but looking back at that video, it's like, it's shockingly bad. And I remember showing all of my friends and family and just about anyone I knew that video when we first did it. And when I look at it now, I wonder, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> it's, let's just say I was not comfortable on camera then like I am now. So it's... I mean, let's not ruin the surprise of how bad it was. The plan is to head south down the coast and we're going to do some small adventures, some very casual adventures on the way. This is a fun adventure now. 
I've never been in a land cloud, I would say. I feel like I'm drinking air. Like every deep breath, it's like I'm taking a gulp of water. It's really cool, actually. So this is Ruby Beach and wow. If we could actually see those rocks, it would be pretty sick. So this beach has a lot of driftwood, so it's quite an adventure. This whole experience on the peninsula has been awesome. Massive trees, cloudy beaches. I've never been to like a beach like this. It's incredible. I love how quiet everything is, but it's actually pretty loud. The waves crashing and everything. It's nice to just hear nature sounds, you know? Ruby Beach is definitely a spot to come check out. With the fog, it's got that whole Pacific Northwest moody vibe. I bet in the sun, it's freaking spectacular. And that's it for the Olympic Peninsula. We had an amazing time. So make sure you like our video if you liked it too and subscribe to our channel to follow our adventures to 1 million miles.